your pain has a purpose whether you are suffering the consequences of your sinful choices or god is permitting you to go through certain challenges either way your pain has a purpose have you noticed that pain has a way of pushing you closer to god eventually pain has a way of putting you in the presence of god have you noticed that your suffering tends to humble you to your knees where you were at the feet of Jesus. Whether it's immediately or gradually, it humbles you. <clears throat> Pain makes us want to let go of what is not of God. So if something is not of God and it causes you pain, it will continue to cause you pain like the Israelites in the wilderness 40 years and you will go through the same thing again and again over and over until you get to a point where you just want to push that something or that situation or that person or that way of thinking or whatever it is you want to get that out of the way whatever is not of God you just want to get that out of the way so pain has a way of making us want to let go of what is not of God pain has a way of <sighs> helping us to understand that I can't do this alone I need God I need to depend on him I need to have faith in him sometimes pain has a way of <clears throat> pushing us into a corner where our back is against the wall where all the odds seem to be against us and from that corner we say the only other option I have left is to put all of my faith in God the only other option I have left is to trust God completely. So can you see how your suffering has a way of making you more into the image of Jesus Christ? How God wants you to be, right? Pain has a way of creating a certain, of building, of developing, let's say, a certain inner strength, an inner strength that only pain can develop. I'll give you one example, but it's not limited to just that. It's just one example. Maybe you're in a you're in an, a narcissistic abusive relationship. You know that's not where God wants you to be, and He's told you over and over again, "Get out, get out, get out." You've got this unhealthy attachment for some reason with that person, and you're not listening to God so you're just accumulating more and more and more and more and more pain over the days over the months over the years maybe to the point where it's just building this inner strength in you where you just one day you just say no and then no matter what that person says to you you're just no it took time to build that inner strength though right so your pain, the pain that you're going through, whatever it may regard, the pain that you're going through is proof that you're still crucifying parts of yourself that are not of God. The pain that you're going through is proof that you haven't given into the enemy yet. Because if you had given up and said, oh, whatever, just give in to it. The pain wouldn't be so intense, right? So you still haven't given in to the enemy. When the pain is intense, it means you're battling it. When the pain is not intense and you're just... stuck there in that narcissistic relationship as an example again yes you've got that pain but notice when you try, every time you say you're going to get out that's when the pain intensifies so the intent intense pain is proof that you haven't given into the enemy you're fighting it it's proof that god hasn't finished with that situation yet there's still work to be done there your pain is proof that you're growing in Christ. It's the same with an addict. They live a life of substance abuse and it's painful. They suffer for nothing, right? It's a life of suffering, like a cycle of suffering. 
Notice when they say they're going to stop and get out of that cycle, the pain intensifies. So there's pain here, but there's an even bigger in, intense pain here. But whether you're here or here, it's still proof that there's still parts of yourself that need to be crucified. You still haven't fully stepped into the image of Christ. You're still growing in Christ. Your struggle is proof that God is still working with you, that God is still changing you. There are parts of yourself that he's, he's still changing you. He's still spiritually maturing you. You're still growing. You're still growing in that area. Boy, oh boy, am I speaking from experience. Your struggle is proof that God is pruning you. You're being stripped of things that are not of God. We should rejoice in that. Who would want to hold on to things that are not of God? Sometimes it's fear or discouragement that causes us to want to hold on to these things because it's our comfort zone. It's what we've known for so many years. We're uncomfortable with stepping out into unfamiliar territory. But you can go ahead and step out into unfamiliar territory because you're not stepping out there alone. God is with you every single step of the way. You have the Holy Spirit living in you. You need to have faith. Jesus said, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? It's time to let go. It's time to step out in faith. It's time. This is a, a sign somebody has been waiting for. It's time. I can't get clearer than that. It's time, it's time, it's time. Now's the time. Oh. So your struggle is showing, it indicates, there's an in indicator that God is still working with you. You know, God is still changing you. It could be the parts of you that get offended so easily. It could be the parts of you that always get into bad relationships it could be the part of you that is so weak to temptation it could be the part of you that can't pray because the mind is so distracted on here there and everywhere it could be the part of you that's dealing with addiction your struggle is an indicator is an indication that god is still working with you maturing you growing you in a certain area of life you know what area of life that is could be your finances, it could be addiction, it could be health, it could be something. It could be the way of thinking. The Bible tells us in James chapter 1 verses 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Mm. So the Bible's telling us to be joyful in our suffering. Because what we're going through is a testing of our faith and it's producing perseverance like endurance. And this perseverance, this endurance, when we let it finish the work that it's doing in us right now, because you're enduring right now, you're in pain and you have to sit there and endure that pain. You know, you don't want to give in. So the pain can diminish a little bit, not go away, diminish a little bit. You don't want to give in to the enemy. So you're sitting there and you're just day after day, maybe week after week, and in some cases, month after month or year after year. Apostle Paul had a thorn in his flesh for three and a half years. 
you're sitting there and you're enduring you're persevering all right and the bible tells us let perseverance finish its work so let what you're going through let this endurance this perseverance let it finish its work it means it's there it's doing some kind of work in you right now let it finish its work why so that you may be mature and complete so it's working the maturance in you it's creating a completion in you of some kind not lacking anything it's bringing you bringing you to a place where you're not lacking anything mm. Some people get into abusive, bad relationships because they're lacking attention. Well, your suffering in that and your endurance in that will bring you to a place where you're not lacking that anymore. You don't need to get into just any these random abusive relationships because you're not lacking that attention anymore because you're getting it from Jesus. Some people start using drugs because they say, I need peace. They've had no peace. Well, this pain and suffering is producing endurance, perseverance in you. And when you let that perseverance finish its work it's doing, it will bring you to a place where I don't need to go down that path again to find peace. Jesus Christ is my peace. But you have to let it finish its work in you, right? So the pain, the struggling, is always to make you more into the image of Jesus Christ. It has a purpose. It's not for nothing. So I want to encourage you, stand firm and endure. Persevere. And I tell you, this too shall pass. You come out stronger. You come out with spoils. You come out more in the image of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same again. You will never be the same again. And when you defeat this enemy, you will never face this enemy again. But if you partially defeat it and say i'll deal with it another time you're going to face that enemy again but if you defeat that enemy like david defeated goliath he carved his head the end that enemy that same enemy is not going to come back you without a head you've defeated the head defeat the head of this enemy that you're facing go through the pain endure and you will come out a different person you will never be the same again you will never have to face that same enemy again the bible tells us in first peter chapter 5 verse 10 and the god of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in christ after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast Let's read that again and the god of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in christ after you have suffered a little while will himself god's the one who will restore you will himself restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast there god will restore you go through the pain and joy god is with you every single step of the way right christian clothing that i'm currently designing and printing link below if you want to donate to the ministry if it's blessing you link below uh in the description i think it's revolut or paypal books that i've personally written and published new age of call to jesus christ who is god spiritual warfare worldly life of deception this is grace or can be purchased using the link below or any amazon worldwide god bless you